how to run a faster half marathon. Today I'm going to cover my five top tips uh, aimed at any runners basically those that are starting out, those that are trying to speed up or anyone just basically trying to conquer the half marathon. These are my five top tips in terms of how you can run faster over that distance. Let's dive straight in. So welcome back to the channel, my name's Adam and this is part four of the how to run faster series. I've already covered a generic how to run faster and I've also done a how to run fast, a how to run a faster 5k and how to run a faster 10k. I'll tag all, all those in the description and I'll put some cards up there as well if you've missed on those and you want to look back and get some hints and tips on those dis distances as well. Uh, but today we're covering the half marathon. I'm now in a position where I can give my opinion and some of my hints and tips and what have helped me and as always I'm just giving you my opinions, the things I've done and the things that have helped me that I feel are transferable to other runners so again take it with a pinch of salt if you wish but these are my five top tips that have helped me knock my half marathon time down significantly and hopefully will help you in your running if you're going for that distance. So for the benefit of anyone that's new to the channel, hasn't been watching for too long, or at least just tuning in for the first time today, I've been running for 10 years on and off, uh, but basically I only returned, so I had on and off periods within the last 10 years, but I returned to running in the summer of 2021, and I've stuck back, stuck back with the habit ever since. Um, but yeah, so up until October, 2021 I'd never covered the half marathon distance and I did I did that as part of the metric marathon in Chester like I said in October of 21 and that was my first race and or run over the half or over 10k really but over the half marathon so the metric marathon for those that don't know is obviously a metric marathon so 26.2k not 26.2 miles so it's basically a half marathon with the 5k tagged on and I entered that in October 21 and I ran a 1.54 for the half, finished the event in 2.19 but for the half marathon and for the purpose of this video I ran a 1.54 in October 2021 and then again for the purpose of context and background in March of 22 within training I managed to get that down to 1 hour 48 for the half marathon so I was making progress and I was starting to train for my first marathon in, in 2022. Within the marathon itself in 2022, again October time, I ran a 146 and then post marathon in December again of last year 2022, I decided to piggyback on that fitness and I went out for a kind of a PB attempt again within training and I managed to get my half marathon down to 1 hour 40. So again, another chunk of time knocked off. Again, within a fairly short period of time. So I went from 154 down to 148 in March of 22, down to 146 in October of 22, within a marathon, and then down to one hour 40 in December of last year. And then this year in 2023, I focused solely on the half marathon for the first time. They were my only goals and races this year. And uh, yeah, so I focused on that distance for the first time ever. And I've run two half marathon goal races this year. One in May, one in September. And I basically ran almost identical times. So uh, one hour 35 and uh, again, one hour 34 officially, but uh, it wasn't quite the distance. So one hour 35 basically twice. So that's my new and current half marathon PB. And so in the last two years, within a two year period, I've knocked off 20 minutes 
half my half marathon and i think there's still there's still room to to grow i've got i've got more in me i think i've got ambitions to go quicker so today i'm just going to quickly cover my five top tips what's helped me knock off this time what have i implemented differently to help me like i say slowly reduce the time down and make quite significant gains so here are my five top tips So tip number one, and uh, like all my tip hints and tip videos, these are in any no particular order, you can rank them in your own importance. But yeah, tip one is run consistently. So like as I mentioned, I've run for about 10 years, but only kind of consistently now, I mean, since I've returned for the last, say, two years. And that consistency has played a massive part in my improvements as a runner. So yeah, there's no secret workout, there's no secret formula, no matter what distance you're running, in order to get better at it and become a stronger, fitter, more resilient runner, you have to run consistently. So that means just running out, getting out there every week, year round, sticking to a mileage, and uh, getting these little, little incremental gains, and over time, they add up and multiply, and larger gains can be seen. But yeah, there's no substitute for Running consistently, that in itself is probably one of the biggest tips there is. Run consistently and you will see gains naturally just as, you, as your body adapts. So that's tip number one, run consistently. If you're a new runner, just starting out, you've got a long kind of, kind of path ahead in terms of there's lots of gains to be made. If you're just starting out, you've got all those initial gains to be made. The more you run, the fitter you'll get. Tip number two is run longer. We're past 5Ks and 10Ks now, and we're into those longer distances, the halves and the marathon. So for the half marathon, if I go into specifically for today, there's no substitute and there's no shortcuts. In order to get better at running at those longer dis distances, you have to cover those distances in within training at various speeds, either broken up or a slightly slower pace. But yeah, you've got to start running longer. If you're only, if you're only used to 5Ks, 10Ks, and you're trying to step up, for example, you've got to get the training in. When you're training for a 5K, you run close to that distance in training, same for the 10K and for the half. It's exactly the same. You can't get by running just five or six miles even there and expect to run 13 miles quickly. So it's uh, said to run longer, add those longer, slower runs in. Again, start off slow if you have to. Yeah, start nice and slow, nice and easy, and slowly build up. We'll get it with again the 10% rule there's a good guide that you don't add on more than 10% of mileage from the previous week and you build up slowly start to run longer and your fitness will slowly increase at the half marathon distance uh, tip number three is get used to running on tired legs so again we're at that distance now where it's not a short blast it's not a 5k potentially even a 10k where you can get by quickly you don't need to, you need to worry about too much in terms of getting to the end before you fatigue too greatly we're now into the aerobic systems of running uh, so you've got to get used to running on tight legs at some point especially if you're just starting out you've got to you're going to expect to have tired legs at some point you can expect to be fatigued and the more you get used to that the more you get comfortable with running when when your legs are feeling heavy and fatigued the better position you'll be when you decide to go for your PB or your race day or whatever it might be. So you've got to get used to running on tired legs. That can be replicated by doing maybe a harder workout. So an interval session, speed work, maybe a 5k blast, something quite taxing. And then you just tag on onto the back of that. Maybe an easy or a steezy run, maybe an extra couple of five or six miles. And that'll replicate towards the end of the race when you've got those last few miles to go your legs are taxed your energy systems are depleted and you've got to just keep your legs turning over and try and maintain that pace as best you can so tip three get used to running on tired legs uh, tip number four now and again this one's probably aimed more at those that are just starting out the half marathon maybe haven't run it all that often or ever before 
and it's uh, more of a mental kind of tip is to chunk it or break it up don't stand there and think oh god I've got 13 miles to cover especially during the run that can seem quite daunting so if you're jumping up to that distance from maybe a 10k obviously it's double the distance more than double the distance so it can seem quite daunting quite a scary prospect so my tip would be to break it up uh, chunk it like you would do with a marathon maybe chunk it into four or five k's and that seems far less scary far more manageable and even mid-race when you're just past halfway you can just break it into like say i've got 5k to go then i've got five, another 5k and if you break it up like that and chunk it and you just worry about each 5k block rather than the 20 21k as a whole or if you're running miles like i said break it into four three miles and just worry about getting that block done gets in and out three miles and then restart and you worry about the next three miles and it's just chunking it into smaller kind of more stomachable bite-sized chunks that your brain doesn't kind of freak out that you've got a long way to go just break into small segments it seems far more manageable and about pacing yourself obviously it's far longer than maybe you're used to so you've got to pace yourself appropriately not set off too fast I said break into smaller chunks of pace and pace yourself over the entirety of the race and my last tip is fueling and hydration so again you're running for a decent amount of time now the fastest runners will do it in around an hour and it could take obviously some people up to three three and a half maybe even longer that's a significant amount of time so you need to worry about refueling and rehydrating on the run so sipping water frequent but little sips so not much but very often some time you get a chance for a hydration station within a race take it get a mouthful rehydrate yourself not too much don't want to fill your stomach but little sips very often is beneficial and again find a fueling system that works whether it be gels or bars or you can manage solid food small bits of solid food uh, everyone's different but yeah find a fueling system that works for you and you have to kind of replenish a little bit again depending on how long you're running for but it's something to consider you now you step up to the half marathon distance it's something you can't really get away with if you don't refuel you'll pay the price at the end of the race so look into that fueling and hydration if you get that nailed down as well as well as your training then you'll be in a good position to smash your half marathon times and that's it basically a quick summary that's my background i've managed to knock off 20 minutes in the last two years hopefully you can do something similar or better but yeah drop in the comments if you've got any additional tips and hints for other people in terms of what helps you in your running and what's helped you in your half marathon training how to get better at that distance but yeah i'll wrap it up there thanks for watching look out for all the other vlogs i'll drop on a regular basis and i'll see everyone on the next one mm -hmm.